Food shortages have plagued our supermarkets for some time, but experts are warning it may get worse. With a third La Nina weather event and heavy downpours predicted, more producer pain and price hikes could follow. It's rarely the place to snag a bargain these days. Instead, the checkout giving us the bite of a cost of living crisis. On farm, in processing, in manufacturing and supermarkets, we have 170,000 worker shortage. And if we don't address that, food affordability and availability is going to be an issue um, going for 12 months to 24 months. The price of poultry, grains, leafy greens and berries are set to rise. Global supply chain issues, inflation and extreme weather events leaving little choice but for many producers and processors to pass on added costs. The price of dairy products set to climb by 30%. Anything that is made from milk, so we've got the cheeses, the butters, the yogurts. According to comparison app Frugal, it's already begun. The price of cooking oil has surged by more than 33% in the past year. Milk is up more than 16%, margarine 50%, butter now costs 12% more, while cheese, chips, peanut butter and ice cream are also hurting the hip pocket. This humble symbol of rising inflation has fortunately come down from its $12 peak. Iceberg lettuce now $2.50. But a wetter than usual spring on the East Coast means supply can't be guaranteed. If we have floods in the next three to six months or if it rains at the wrong time, for example, during harvest, again, expect to see shortages or price rises. Even if we do see a weak La Nina, we are likely to see these increased flooding events across New South Wales. It's always really good quality produce, but it's ripe and it's ready to eat. You're pretty sure it hasn't been dropped a couple of times and put back on the shelf.